In season 1, Nancy and her friends wanting to solve the mystery of Lucy's death and clearing Nancy's father's name, asked the sea spirit called Egleka to give them Lucy Sable's bones, and now they have to pay a toll. The Egleka is after them and they are bound to be killed in 7 days. Season 2 kicks off with them figuring out how to outsmart Egleka and stay alive. While they are looking for something to defeat Egleka, they learn about who she was when she was alive. She was a successful French businesswoman named Odette Lamar, who married Douglas Marvin and was accompanying him on a ship to come to Horseshoe Bay. But she never wanted to marry him because she was in love with an English woman. The men on the ship humiliated her and dropped her in the sea to die and then by stealing her wealth, founded the town of Horseshoe Bay. Nancy and her friends realize that they can defeat her by tapping into the human in her. So they read her love letters to the English woman and she becomes human again and forgives them. The crew survives from the curse but George is killed in the process. Earlier that day, Nancy learned about some haunted items that were kept in the historical society, one of which, a shroud, could revive the dead and in this way, she brings back George to life. But this action has consequences. One of the consequences is that George gets possessed partly by Odette and starts acting strangely. Nancy vows to solve the problem which she caused in the first place, and in doing so they realize that when the shroud revives a dead person, it kills the previous owner at the same time. In the meantime, Nick gives a USB to Ryan. This USB was given to him by Tiffany and has all the secrets about Ryan Hudson's dad, Everett Hudson, and can bring down his empire. Nick tells Ryan that if he wants to prove himself to Nancy and start being her father, he must find some evidence against Everett. In season 1, Nancy proved that Everett was guilty of murdering 12 people on the board of the Bunny Scott, and now he is waiting for the trial. He is already vengeful towards Nancy, so he must never find out that she is his granddaughter, because according to the family's rule, the company will pass down to Nancy, and this is enough reason for him to have her killed for being so determined to destroy the family business. But everything gets out of their control when Val Samuel, a journalist who is going to write an article about Ryan, finds out that Nancy is Ryan's daughter and tells this truth to Celia, Ryan's mom. She and Nancy become close, but she insists that they must reveal the truth to her husband because there is something that he cannot tolerate and that is keeping secrets from him. Also she tries to convince Nancy to change her statement against Everett and prove to him that she is a real Hudson and can be a good granddaughter to him. In the meantime Ace finds his brother. He comes to know that his dad, a former US Marshal, was involved in a case that required woman in the witness protection and he ended up having an affair with her. This affair led to her giving birth to a boy named Grant. Ace contacts Grant and they find each other. He is running from the witness protection and asks them to help his mom. A hitman called Daniel West is after her because she bore witness to multiple crimes when she was working at Redgate. They find a gaming device that has a list of the names of people who used to work for this company and all of them must be killed because they are possible witnesses. They try to keep that list from Daniel but Daniel captures Ace and threatens to kill him. Trying to save Ace's life, Nancy asks Celia, her grandma, to help her and she promises to help as long as Nancy withdraws her testimony against Everett, which is exactly what happens next. They give the tape to Daniel but then Celia's men get hold of the device. On the other side of the story, Ryan, Nick and Val are hellbound to find some evidence against Everett, especially now that his charge has been dropped by Nancy's false confession. On the other hand, Everett hires Nancy to find out who is giving away the company's information and to whom. Encouraged by her grandmother who wants Nancy to become part of the family, she accepts to help Everett, but of course this is only her cover and her main intention is still to bring him down. Ryan and Nick realize there is a tape that contains some information that can bring down Everett. They make contact with Everett's accountant, Howard, but, but they find him dead in his hotel room. Now they are supposedly against Nancy, but all of them actually are looking for the same information separately. Nick and Ryan, keeping their investigation secret from Nancy, fall right into Everett's trap and the result is that Val and Ryan get exposed. In the meantime, Nancy is getting ready for Hudson's party and finds out her grandma is dead. Suspecting Everett as the killer, she kidnaps him with the help of her boyfriend Gil and reveals her true identity to him, but turns out that Celia was killed by the same company that wanted to kill Grant's mom for helping Nancy to keep the list of the names from them. Nancy and Ryan decide to let Everett go because they assume that he will let them to the tape, which is exactly what happens. 
they get hold of the tape that shows Everett killing his brother many years ago and that is enough evidence to put him in jail. After dealing with a lot of mysteries and family dramas, the last episode revolves around the supernatural creature, the race which has got hold of Nancy and is feeding on her. Turns out Nancy has just a few days left and she is going to die. The crew comes to know that the Wraith was created by Nancy's ancestor, Tempress Hudson. She was one of the witches of the women in White Colt and was banished by them and couldn't come back to the town for seven generations. With the help of a device, she created a Wraith to take revenge on the town and the women in white. Now Nancy and her friends find out that this device is in the possession of one of Nancy's relatives in New York. They get the device, use Nancy's blood and revoke the rape. When they leave, we see that the relative is Temperance Hudson. She uses Nancy's blood which was in the device to rejuvenate herself and is planning to come back to Horseshoe Bay. And now the summary of important facts that happens at the end of season 2. Nancy breaks up with Gil, her boyfriend because she realizes that she has feelings for Ace, but when she goes to Ace's house to confess her feelings, she learns that he has already gone on a trip with his girlfriend. George, who now knows that her lifespan has been shortened as a result of coexisting with Odette's ghost, on the other hand, proposes to Nick to marry her, and Odette decides to sit back and let George live her life. Everett Hudson is now in jail, therefore Nancy is responsible for the company's wealth, which she decides to give to Everett's victims' families. Ryan, that now has no money, starts living with Carson and Nancy. At the end of the season, we see Temperance returning to Horseshoe Bay. And that's it for this recap. See you next time with another recap. Thanks for watching.